Hi guys, I'm Sakara and I'm one of the co-founders of Bogat. Today I'm going to show you guys all about the adjustment brush tool in Lightroom. So we're in Lightroom now and I am just going to adjust the look and feel. So I'm going to add a preset. I'm going to edit it to my liking. So maybe adjust the exposure a little bit, um, contrast a little bit. So you're going to edit the look and feel. And again, there's no right or wrong way to edit um, your photos. It's up to you on how you want to. Now the adjustment tool brush is amazing because basically you're just taking a brush and adjusting whatever you want to do in one particular place. So the adjustment tool brush is right here on the right hand side. Again, you have to be in your, in your develop module. Um, and then it's this guy right here. As soon as you click it, this will pop up, this little panel, okay? So basically what you're going to do is your cursor will change into this. Again, you can use your brackets, left or right, to make it bigger or smaller. I like to keep mine in a good medium-sized brush. Now, say I wanted to make the flowers a little bit more vibrant, okay? I wanted the green and the flowers, the stem of the flowers to be a little bit more vibrant and green, but I wanted everything else to stay as is. This is when you want to use the adjustment brush tool. So I'm just going to go over, and it doesn't look like it's doing much, but just wait one second. So I'm gonna go over the stem, and I'm just clicking and dragging around. Just the flowers, not the pot, not the pot, not the um, girl's hands or anything. Just the flowers. Now, once you do that, it doesn't look like you did much, but to see where you just um, used the brush, just click up down here to show selected mask overlay, and then you'll see the mask. It becomes red. Now, if you want to make it, um, if you want to adjust it a little bit more, you can go ahead and do that. Say you missed a spot. You can fix it like this. The second you want to get rid of the red, just uncheck it right here, and there you go. Now, you just applied the brush. Now, what you can do is go to your right-hand side and adjust. So say I wanted it to, um, so this is how it was before, brighter, make it a little bit brighter. Again, I want to make the colors a little bit more vibrant. So I'm gonna go down to saturation, and I'm gonna go up. Just by doing that, it'll make it a little bit more vibrant. Say I wanted to get rid of the shadows. Do that, bring it down. Again, nothing is affecting the girl, it's just affecting where I applied the brush. Adjust it and hit done. Okay, now if you go to before and after, that's what it looks like. So again, you just, are affecting the place, the spot that you just use the adjustment brush. Um, and again, we use this a lot when it comes to computer screens, phone screens, and bloggers. We take a lot of tech photos, so sometimes the screen is a little there's smudges, whatever it is. You can adjust all that. Um, again, you know it's such a great tool. You can use it for basically everything and anything. If you want to adjust the skin tone color, but keep everything else as is use the adjustment brush tool. Now say I wanted to use another adjustment brush, another section of the photo, just go to adjustment brush and then make sure that you are in new. Um, and then say I wanted to brighten this part a little bit more. Okay, just brush it through, brush, brush, brush. And then you can brighten it. If you want to delete it, make sure that this is selected and then hit delete. So now let's use this photo as an example. I'm going to adjust the look and feel. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Okay. And then just brighten it a tiny bit. Um, and say I really like the look and feel, but I'm losing the pink in the pouch right here. Okay. So all I have to do is let's zoom in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the adjustment brush tool, make sure that it is under new, and I'm going to start brushing. Just go along the lines. 
and it's becoming brighter because currently right now the exposure is um, up a little bit, but just continue and then you can adjust it later. Again, you can click down here and then you'll see where it's being affected. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna uncheck it. And then I'm going to bring down the exposure because again, I want it to be a little bit more vibrant and pink. So I'm gonna bring down the exposure and I'm gonna zoom out to make sure that I like it how it is. So bring down the exposure. You can bring down or bring up the saturation as well, but not too much. Okay, a little bit of contrast. And you can even adjust the temperature and the tint right here. So here you can see that it becomes a little bit more orangish yellow. The tint you can bring up a little bit more. I like it right there. Bring up the saturation, maybe a little bit more of the contrast. And there we go. Okay, you can even adjust the clarity to make it a little bit more clear. So again, you're just affecting the part that you just brushed over and it's great for so many different things but I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks guys bye